Hey guys, Darwin here. So before I begin this video, I would just like to quickly say that I own a Minecraft server. You guys can join it by using the IP on the screen and more info will be in the description below. Hey guys, Darwin here. So welcome back to another one of my tutorials, which I know I've been not doing for a while. Uh, it's simply because I've been busy with all kinds of things, I guess. Uh, ranging from my Minecraft server that I've been telling you about to other click team projects they may see my recent stuff here so uh, i've been trying all kinds of things recently and that's the reason why i've been not so productive so now that i have some free time i am going to start this series back because you guys seem to really like the the lace wing one it got way more popular than i would have expected i didn't think it would get that popular um but uh I have some stuff open here ready for us to begin. So what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is very simple. So we are simply going to be uh, getting a channel list and retrieving it, but channel list only of servers that we want to see, basically channels that we want to see. So it's actually not that difficult. Now this tutorial assumes that you do not, in fact, um, you do not have your own, you know, server service. I don't know how to explain it. You don't have your own server. So, for example, you must use the uh, publicly avail available darkware servers. Uh, but uh, it does work the same way. Even if you do have your own server, it does work that way. Uh, you know, just remove the stuff that you don't need, the protection that I'm adding for that. So, um, I'm just going to quickly get a lacewing working example. There's one on my website. If you go to uh, my website, which I link in the description, uh, you go to the resources and click on a lacewing example 1.0. It will just give you a quick download link. So, let's just grab this uh, file, which I believe I actually have twice because I checked whether it works. Um, so now we have a nice little application which uh, allows us to use Lacewing in it. So it has all the code done, all commented out, it's all pretty and it's just good. So now all we really, really have to do is, um, since we aren't actually going to be using the uh, Lacewing servers ourselves, uh, since you know we need to get some channels and we you know in order to get the channels we need to first create them we're going to get a little host application we're going to create it um, so we're going to create a quick host application which uh, hosts the uh, server from our PC so we're not going to be using dark wire this time and uh, we are also going to just as soon as the hosts create a dummy channel which has a peer on it now normally you would you know maybe get a different kind of method maybe see what kind of name you log in so the peer doesn't exist you know it doesn't create a dummy peer or maybe you um you know you have predefined channels and you just join them and maybe even if they're empty it's not that big of a deal maybe you're hosting them separately somehow uh the point is we're gonna run from our pc so uh it's just the simplest way you can you know do it in order to have full control of what you're doing so uh, let's just quickly create a new application. We're going to be calling this lacewing at a host, for example. It could be anything. And we're just going to call the main frame main, since that's what it is, basically. We're going to change the frame size to be 320 by 480. And we're going to change the background to be, you know, this grayish color, right? So you go in it, and this is your little application window. Um, and now... We're just going to create uh, two buttons, which are for start and stopping. And we're just going to also create an edit box, which allows us to change the prefix of our channels and uh, one that tells you what the, the actual channel name is. So we're going to need two objects. We're first going to need the Lacewing Relay Client to create the channel. So we're going to call this Lacewing. And we also need the Lacewing Relay Server to be able to host it. And we're going to call this host. Now, we're going to need two buttons, as I've explained. So let's get two buttons going. So this and then clone. 
So we're going to have them one, let's say, over here, one over here. So we're going to rename one start. I think I'm actually going to move it closer. And one is going to be called stop. So we have start and stop. So let's rename this to start. Or uh, I mean the text. Let's make it say start. And let's make this say stop. <clears throat> Sorry. So um, now we're going to just quickly get an edit box going on here, which is, you know, Simple edit box, and we're just gonna clone this edit box, and that's your whole lot, right? The application is a bit too big for this, but that's fine, it doesn't really matter. Let's just move it low. And yeah, normally you could add a little log box here if you're hosting your servers. Uh, I do recommend you do that because it's actually really, really easy to use. But then again, so let's just rename this first edit box. Let's call this, uh, let's say, prefix and let's call this a uh, channel so that's the current channel so uh, we're gonna make this uh, actually we're gonna leave this the prefix alone we're gonna make this read only the uh, channel name so I'll make it read only and now let's go to the uh, to the um, editor real quick so first let's just get the events that let us uh, start this whole journey so first uh, let's just see if we click on the start button and if we click on the stop button so all this will do is it will just uh, relay server start hosting on port 6121 since that's the default and if you do that if you click on stop it will uh, stop the host as you can see now we also want to get a check for when the server is hosting and for when the server isn't hosting and we want to run an event only once when the server starts hosting and only one event when the server stops hosting is these instant events now to do that it's very simple so uh, we just make sure to add a new condition in special we limit conditions uh, only one action when event loops which base essentially tells us okay so when the server is hosting uh, do only one action and then if the server continues to you know host so if it keeps hosting it keeps looping this action of hosting it this hosting value is still true then uh, don't run more events so it will it basically gives us only one event if then we stop the server which we only also only want to do the same thing uh then again it will is the server not hosting anymore well yeah it's not hosting anymore so do one thing but only once and when you go back into hosting, let's say you start the server, stop it, and start again, it will once more uh, do only one action with event loops. So it does actually do only one action uh, more times if the event is rerun, but at a later time. So if the event doesn't loop anymore, and then starts looping once again. So you know you you get this idea. You guys are smart. And now we simply want to uh, when the server starts hosting. Um, well, first we want to disable the start button and enable the uh, stop one. And the server isn't hosting, we want to enable the start button and disable the, the stop one. So that's fine. And when the server starts hosting, we want to connect it to uh, to the host itself. We want to connect to localhost, which is uh, the address that your PC uses when it. Uh, when you host the thing, you can refer to your own IP as that. Alternatively, if you use Hamachi or some other kind of, you know, server thing, you can use that IP. It also works in this case. So localhost 6121, that's fine in our case. And we then want to do some events. So again, this is the Lacewing client. So, you know, you just want to have to be on connect. Then you want to set the name to something like, you know, just something that you know you know a player won't use so let's say let's say darwin host a dummy and let's just give it a whole bunch of numbers so we make sure no one can guess this number or this name i guess well there's a small chance someone could guess it but then again uh you know you i don't think you can actually say your name to be infinite in the little edit box so on connect set the name to that and uh on name set so, you know, just do the same thing you would normally do, uh, as I've shown in my first Lacing tutorials on name set. You join a channel. Now, what channel do you join? Well, we just want the text of prefix. 
which you know it's fine so you just want the text of uh, the prefix get text and we want to add to it um, you know a random number for example so to get a random number uh, convert it to a string since you know you, if I just put one suit one or whatever right, it will tell us okay we mixed strings and numbers you see the little red bar and that's a problem so we don't want that uh, we want to convert this to a string now to convert a number to a string in click name you use str a dollar sign or alter alternatively you right click here conversions and convert number to string and it will give you you know str but i think this is easier to remember so string and you just get like if you if i put one two three it, it works now as you can see but uh we do want to not do, do this we want a random number to get a random number we just go here and we just get a random number you can do random number within range let's say ten thousand and uh, nine thousand, you know, nine, 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 nine. So, you know, you can. I would suggest, honestly, use a lot more channels just because there's a whole lot of servers. But uh, for this tutorial, this man is fine. I would normally do something like this, but we're not. We don't need to do that right now. So, all right. Now this is done. So let's just save it. And we don't want to hide the channels. So make sure this is zero. But we don't want to hide it from the list. And close the channel when I leave. Uh, yes, I do want to close the channel once I leave. Um, now I join the channel, hit and close automatically. And now, since I joined the channel, it created the channel automatically. And now one last thing: when you uh, when the server so when the server stops, so the thing I want you to do is uh, leave the channel and. Uh, then you want to uh, disconnect so yeah now make sure that if you go into the event list editor which is you know next to the event editor make sure that the uh, you know disconnect is under leave channel because if you leave a channel after you disconnected it, it will not work it will bug out it will have issues so you don't want that to happen so uh, this is this is all that really happens in this uh, small program so to say so this is ready to be built. So let's build the application. Let's put it on our desktop, for example. Let's call it Lacewing at host. So this is the host that you have. Now let's go to the application once more that we had, the original one. And now you want to have a list to be able to connect to it. So let's put the, these things aside to have space. And now let's get a list. So if we get a list, we need a combo box. Now you can use the natural list and then a combo box to select it or you can you know just double click the thing and it adds it to like a value or you can do whatever but uh, what I prefer to use is this because it just is versatile and I just like it so let's just make sure it's the right uh, size for our stuff I think that's it is the size 287 I think it's supposed to be 286 but 216 there you go prettier now pretty in the random numbers um, so yeah now 380 jesus all right now we have a list so if you're in the application there's there's not much to it you just click on it and just open the list the drop down list right um that's, that's there's not that much to that aspect but it's important because you can't means you can select a channel from this drop down list now let's rename the combo list channels right so we on the channels list and now uh, we simply want to do some things now at the start of the game you don't want to connect yourself to uh, to this in fact you want to uh, connect to to um, to localhost and you don't want to connect it uh, to, you don't want to connect to it uh, when you press a button you want to connect to it uh, as soon as this frame begins so let's give a, a nice start the frame so insert a new event so let's do a start a frame and it's pretty simple so at the start of the frame connect to localhost 6121 or yeah 6121 so there you go now 
uh, unconnected with this would automatically join the channel and you don't want you don't want that to happen so unconnected one set a name uh, in fact we'll use on the name set so it's the highlight and the save so when on when the name is set that's when you actually join the game so when you connect don't set the name and when you press the connect button instead instead of connecting you will just set the name right so uh, but now when you connect you want to retrieve the channel list so it will do, it will do a little different right thing so when you connect you right click and you request the channel list now you requested the channel list and now uh, basically ask the server okay so what channels do what do we have here so now you you got a channel list but you want to be able to um, you know do something with it so let's create a new group of events let's call this channel list and now let's see once we receive so channel listing so when, once we once we receive this list that we just asked for uh, we want to add each channel that we just received in a particular way we want to add the list which has the prefix uh, that we want so if you connect for example to dark wire you don't want to get every channel that's on dark wire you only want the ones which start with you know darwin tutorial whatever right that's that's the ones you actually want so um let's just see so on channel list received we only want the channels which start with that so how would how would we do that right uh if you have your own server you don't need to do this but let's say you don't Let's go to the channels and channels. This listing can have alterable values. So if I go to uh, this, you know, A to Z thing, which is called values, uh, you can add a new string and let's call this uh, from Lacewing. Right? That's what we're going to call this from Lacewing, simple name with capital L. And now uh, on channel list received, we're going to have to loop through each one of these channels. So basically now we have a list, right? And it has, you know, element one, element two, element three. So now we wanna, you know, go through element one and two and three and so on. You wanna go through all of these elements. So essentially we want to channel or channel listing loop the list of channels. So we wanna go through all of them, right? So let's see what you wanna do. Uh, you can get a loop name if you want to have more. I don't need this for now. So now we're going on a loop and we want to do stuff when the loop is happening so on loop um on the channel loop basically this uh does an event for each one of those uh names that we received so for element one it will do some code for element two it will do some code and so on so on channel this loop all we're going to do is uh set the alterable values or string set the from lay swing to channel listing get the name so we get the name of the name you know which is looped right now we get that an element the elements name and now we have it stored in our list so now we can do whatever we want to do it from here so let's let's see what it, what its name is right let's compare it to a uh, general values and if you know this name that we just have this uh from lee swing of channels is equal to let's say a darwin underscore uh something right i don't really remember what i called the uh the thing let's go and take a look so so darwin host dummy join channel of edit text okay well it can be anything i guess so let's just see if it's equal to darwin underscore um you know it will have more numbers so it cannot equal to that we want the left of the string up to the character count so what does that mean let me explain so left mid and right which are these things all these do is a very simple thing left dollar sign will just retrieve the characters uh, in a string from the beginning of the string all the way to some number right so let's say if i go to darwin has darwin underscore seven characters this will give me the first seven characters the first seven from the left will start counting one two three four five six seven and right does the same thing except it does it from the end of the string 
until some amount. Mid will give you a value that's in between two, so I could get two of these numbers and it will count in between the two characters. That's what these do, so it's a very, very simple thing. It essentially gives me a substring. It essentially lets me know, does this channel name I just got contain Darwin underscore? And if it does, then it means it's one of my servers. Yeah, Darwin underscore is part of my channels, part of my things that I need. So it doesn't get confused with the ones with a mass of other ones. If you are on dark wire, for example, it doesn't get confused with those. So yeah, if it does equal to that, uh, we only want to add our element once to the list. So let's add a, uh, a only one action when event loops. Also, when the channel uh, list is received, we also only want to loop the peers once only. We don't want to loop it twice or thrice or however many times, right? Um, so now, um, all we, or, well, I guess you could do it once if you have a refresh button. So you can leave that there. So now it will add this name to the list if it's correct. If not, it will not do anything. So we'll add a line, which is the uh, value from Lacewing. It will add from Lacewing. And there you go, now it adds it to the list. And that's that's all you have to do. It doesn't really do anything. You maybe can do a little thing which you know loops the, the peers every now and then. So that's it. Now we only want to do one last thing, and that is if you you know if you connect, you uh, want to be able to connect to a channel. So uh, you connect and uh, request. So when you click the button, um, you only want to set the name if the um, you know if uh, what is it called the uh, compare to general values if the select if, if you have a channel selected so uh, let's see get get the current line is different than nothing so if it if, it, if you actually join the channel if you select the channel then you can join it um, so it's since this is an or logical we must add it to both since it checks for every case and we added it to both cases so <clears throat> Now you can set the name if you selected something and on connect on name set it will join the channel instead of this you know thing which I said you can change the name it will instead join the uh, current line that you have selected and yeah I will hide the channel from the list and it will close it automatically no it won't because it's hosting it so that's it uh, now you're pretty much good to go uh, we're going to build these, so I'm going to build this now and save it. So I believe I built both. So I built this, and I think I built that in the wrong location. Uh, yeah, there you go. Let's just put this on the desktop. That's fine. So now we have built both of these projects. So uh, Darwin and host. So let's run the host. So the host looks a bit weird, but that's fine because I didn't change the frame size. Darwin is this so it will not give us anything as you can see so let's close this down now let's add a prefix so let's say darwin underscore which is what we wanted and we can start it and i believe it doesn't set this text so let's go ahead and fix that before we continue and you know while we're at it i'm also going to be changing this to correct size okay so now uh just you know on connect and on channel join uh i want to get uh so yeah let's just see channel on join uh, editing set text to select the channel name so i would just set the name okay i don't want to save it actually so let's just build the application on our desktop and let's try running it again now let's bear up since fixed the thing. So let's see. So we have Darwin underscore and then we start and we have Darwin 32918. So this is the server or channel we're hosting. So we run this and now if you check the list, it has an element in it, Darwin 32918. And now if we join with, uh, let's say, Darwin, it joins and you can see that this here is just the you know just the peer that exists but it's a dummy one of course 
um, if you put this off screen, no one would see it. Um, so, of course, it's just this guy who joined the channel, right? Because we joined it from the host. And let's try and join it with our other uh, our other friend. Let's see if that works. Uh, hopefully it does. If not, we're going to have to fix it. Let's see. We're going to try and join uh, Dar. Let's connect. And there you go. So now you just join the same channel and everything is working. Fine and dandy. And you've essentially... Uh, got two channels which connect and you have a little list to connect to so uh, yeah you can test this out now I will include this lace swing host application thing in the uh, in the in the description because I don't want you guys to uh, <laughs> you know have to go and you know do the application yourself you can just download it but uh, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to really do uh, in order for this to work. And as you can see, it works really, really nicely. And you can do whatever you want, and you can uh, do this like that. And even if you don't want that little, you know, channel prefix thing, you can always just get the channel listing uh, if it's your own server. So um, that's all I had to show to you today. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. So if you like this video, make sure to click on the like button. And since I said I'm going to be starting to make clicking videos again, uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more interesting videos. In the next video, I'm going to be making a host client, I believe. A host client for this, which uh, contains the logs and lets you view every activity that's going on the servers if you're hosting it. And uh, I think that will be a very, very interesting thing to do that you guys will enjoy. Uh, it will also be very cool, for example, if you have a host uh, thing, in case you want to host it and you have an application, you want to have a separate host thing, uh, that would be very, very interesting. So that's about it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, uh, take care.